Are you serious? Are you serious? Right when I, I was just trying to just keep praying, folks, don't stop praying, but Russian forces have stormed a Ukrainian naval headquarters in Crimea. Reuters is reporting that the United States have warned Moscow it was on a dark path to isolation today on this Wednesday, uh, March the 19th, 2014, after Russian troops backed by an unarmed volunteers uh, stormed Ukrainians' naval headquarters in the Crimea port and raised the Russian flag. Now, the dramatic seizure came as Russia and the West dug in for a long confrontation over Moscow's annexation of Crimea, with the United States and Europe groping for ways to increase pressure on a defiant Russian President Vladimir Putin. Uh, as long as Russia continues on this dark path, they will face increasing political and economic isolation, says U.S. Vice President Joe Biden, uh, referring to reports of armed attacks against unarmed uh, Ukrainian military personnel in Crimea. Well, Biden, and is that unarmed? No, against Ukrainian military personnel in Crimea, excuse me. Biden was in a Lithuanian, uh, Lithuanian capital, part of a quick trip to reassure the Baltic allies, worried about what <clears throat> an emboldened, aggressive Russia might mean for their nations. Lithuania, along with Estonia and Latvia, Latvia, on NATO members. These three Baltic states, all of which were former uh, part of the former uh, Russia, Soviet Union, uh, there's an attempt using brutal force to renew borders of the European states and to destroy the post-war uh, architecture of Europe. But here's my thing I want to say right now. What's Joe Biden going to do? And what is he going to say? Don't worry about it, guys. Because if Russia tries to invade you, we will be here to save you. No! No, America is weak. America is broke, busted, and disgusted. America has no foreign policy agenda. Obama is just literally flying from the seat of his pants. And Vladimir Putin is, without question, three, maybe four steps ahead of him at all times in all foreign policy issues. So when I say pray for peace, what I'm really saying, pray for some new leadership uh, from several different nations to understand how to work together because from the very beginning Obama and Putin have been literally on total polar ends of the spectrum and what's really wild is eventually America Russia, China and all of these world powers will wind up on the same side against Israel but we're, we're quite a ways away from that the bear's got to go on the move Mystery Babylon's got to fall. There's a lot got to happen. And of course, the peace covenant that's being worked on, that seems to be falling further and further and further on the back pages, but don't think it's over. As we enter into these four blood moons, folks, they've always been signs of great war. And what I'm really concerned about is that these four blood moons are really talks, maybe, maybe a signs in the heavens, you know, and the Bible does talk about all these signs in the sun, moon, and stars. And a lot of times, these signs from God is showing us of the appointed times. If you go look at the four blood moons on Jewish feast days, since the crucifixion of Christ, they've always brought tremendous anguish, many times war, and it always affecting either the nation of Israel or the children of Israel. But... This time, it not only will affect Israel, but it may affect the entire world. I, I don't even want to say World War III. I don't even want to mention it. But it is in the back of everyone's mind right now. When people start messing with each, when the big boys are pointing fingers and threatening each other, it's not good. 
Pray, would you please pray? I'll be right back. Don't miss today's show, today's broadcast, today's message, today's word. It will be powerful. At my website, www.paulbegleyprophecy.com. That's www.paulbegleyprophecy.com. Pray. <laughs> 